Are you feeling a little overwhelmed, maybe a bit overstimulated? Well, it might be because we are entering Pisces season. Evolutionary astrologer Jill Case is here to tell us all about it and how we can begin to center ourselves a little bit this time of year. Yeah. Hey, it's so good to see you, Jill. Thank you. Nice to be here as always. And this just started today. Tonight, today. in fact. Oh, tonight. Okay. Yes, tonight, in fact. Perfect timing yeah. for this for this segment. Yeah. So tell us what is Pisces season? So Pisces is a water sign. It's the mm. last sign of the zodiac. So it's kind of a cool week. We start the solar new year um, next month. And so it's a good kind of close uh, into what's happened this last year. So I like to describe Pisces as it's the exhale. It's like the release. Mm. It's the sigh. It's the take a time out. So I think that's the invitation this month um, during our Pisces cycle is to take a time out. Um, it's, we get so inundated with in information because we have so much technology around us all the time. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard sometimes to hear our own voice, to kind of be able to dream, to have a creative um, kind of ideas for what we want to create if we have so much coming in. And so it's a great time to just relax, take a time out, rest a little bit more, dream a little bit more, uh, and see what happens. Have a little bit of self-care. Absolutely, self-care is a great time, especially if you do get really affected by the times like this. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm a Pisces, so this is a great time for me just to take a step back sometimes from crowds or a mm -hmm. lot of events. And so if that's you, then, then those breaks are really important to take some rest breaks during the day where you just take a minute of deep breathing or you go out for a walk on your lunch break or, or you just have those moments where you just kind of shut everything down and just take a second you know do you think as a Pisces it's hard to do that like you have to tell yourself I need to do this and take that time well I think my body tells me so <laughs> whether I want to or not like I'm gonna do if I don't I know it so uh, so over time I thought well maybe I can be a little preemptive with this <laughs> and so mercury in retrograde too so. and that will characterize most of, of the Pisces season so mm -hmm. that's why it's even more important to again to kind of reevaluate what direction you're going so mercury rules the, it's the planet of transportation communication mm -hmm. so it's a good time to just be really um, to reevaluate your commitments to like really evaluate is this the direction I really want to keep going or is it time to undo some things that I've done or do I want to really reevaluate and dream bigger or be a little bit more creative with how I thought it should go so move slower give yourself more time before you go places pause before you respond to people before you fire that email back maybe just take a second and go do I need a time out first yeah. you know is this is this how I want to respond because it, it's the it's infamous for traffic uh, for delays for flights being canceled for yeah. emails by, for your phone dying and there's no scientific evidence of that but it's always a good chance to give yourself that that extra space even if you don't if it's not going to happen right that you just say I don't have to check email every day or I don't have to respond to that text right away I can take some extra time yeah and so this Thursday you can help do that too you've got a great event yeah. coming up and we'll have more information for you as you can do that kind of looking inward um, that yoga class and ceremony happening yeah so cool. and you can always check out my website for a blog that tells you a little bit more information about all this awesome thank you so yeah. much for being here I just I love learning all about that it makes me feel better well coming up <laughs> next we're gonna celebrate Oregon's distilling industry in a very special event this weekend